Welcome to Michigan Out of Doors. I'm Jenny Olson and we've got a brand new show for you this week. All sorts of fun things happening on this week's show. I was scheduled to bring you a Saginaw Bay duck hunt, but it quickly turned into a completely different hunt thanks to Mother Nature. You won't want to miss that. And Jimmy has a lot of deer hunting action for us this week too. Well, that's right, Jenny. We do have a few more things on this week's show and I'm pretty excited about our first story this week. Our own Gabe Van Warmer was out doing a little bow hunting self taping himself while using a longbow. He has had a great season so far. You won't want to miss that hunt. And we're going to stop in with you, the viewer. We have three different viewer videos for you, a couple fishing adventures and a really nice Michigan buck hitting the ground. You won't want to miss that. Just so much going on this time of the year and it is hard to believe that we are here in the week before the firearm deer season. So what we do every year this time of the year is show you our favorite deer hunting poem just to get you excited about the upcoming firearm season. That is Palace in the Popples. Lots of good stuff on this week's show. You stay tuned. I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze Dancing on the pine forest floor The autumn colors catch your eyes Here come the crystal winter skies It's Michigan, Michigan out of doors Someday our children all will see This is their finest legacy The wonder and the love of Michigan As the wind comes whispering through the trees the sweet smell of nature's in the air from the great lakes to the quiet stream shining like a sportsman's dream it's the love of michigan we all share michigan out of doors is presented by by greenstone farm credit services making recreational land ownership possible across michigan and northeast wisconsin Begin your land financing journey at one of Greenstone's 37 locations or visit greenstonefcs.com. By Meyer, a destination for hunting, fishing, and camping. From bug spray and tents to GPS and gas, Meyer has nearly everything you need to take on nature and get you there. Meyer. By Showspan, producing consumer shows including the Ultimate Fishing Show, Detroit, January 8th through 11th at Novi's Suburban Collection Showplace. The show features fishing tackle, fishing trips, fishing boats, and seminars on all Michigan game fish. The Ultimate Fishing Show, Novi, January 8th through 11th. By Country Smokehouse, offering a variety of meat products, Country Smokehouse is located three miles south of I-69 on M53, just south of Imlay City. Country Smokehouse is a meat processor, a butcher, and a destination for sportsmen.
You don't know how nerve-wracking this is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just called that buck in from over there. He's not a real big buck. I think he's a two-year-old. But <laughs> he pegged me. He absolutely pegged me. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. He stuck around too long. He was uh, right underneath me right here. And uh, he came in and he looked right up at me. And the wind is blowing directly at him. Absolutely directly at him. And that's a good uh, <laughs> wearing scent lock. Um, he came in. I think he was smelling my dough and heat. I sprayed a little bit on the scrape in front of me. I had a little bit on my boots, and I don't think I think that kind of masked my smell. And uh, <laughs> I made a good shot. I think I drilled him. Looked like it was maybe a touch low, but I could see blood coming out the whole way he was running out here. So um, nine point. I've never seen him before. I don't think I have trail cam pictures of him, but we'll see. Uh, I think I made a good shot. <laughs> first buck of the year with the old longbow. I killed a doe uh, a couple weeks ago right in the same spot. She came right out of this bottom and uh, just killed another one. That's exactly why you use big cup broadheads. I'm using two inch cut centaur archery big game heads and they put a wallop on them. I mean, this is incredible. I cannot believe you went this far. There he is. I can see him right up there. Well, there he is, folks. Nice nine pointer, and uh, might even call him a 10 right here. I'm not sure if you count that or not, but it's a nine in my book, and I'll tell you what, I am pleased as punch. He's not real wide at all, man, he is tight. But he's got tall tines. And I'll tell you what, he gave me a great hunt. I grunted him in, uh, hit a few grunts, and uh, he came right to me. And Man, there's nothing more exciting than that. Late October, October 30th, I missed my son's birthday by one day. That would have been cool to do it on that day, but I did it with the old longbow. Well, I have to say, when Gabe first sent us that video, I was pretty amazed. It is very hard to self-tape yourself doing anything, but to do it bow hunting with a longbow, hats off to Gabe on a great season so far. Now we're going to take a look at you, the viewer. And speaking of great videos, these are just some of the ones that some of our viewers have sent in over the last month or so. Our first viewer video comes to us from the bow hunting woods, not too terribly far from where Gabe's hunt came from. This one was just outside of Fowlerville, right between Lansing and Howell. Now this hunt is from Jarrett Van Hees. Jarrett caught my attention when he said he had a good hunt on tape with HD footage and used a GoPro for an additional camera angle. Jared had this buck working toward him, so what he had to do now was keep the deer on camera, hope he could stop the deer while still on camera, and oh by the way, make a good clean shot. Well, Jared had made a perfect shot and buried that arrow right in the opposite shoulder, which is always good shot placement. Now he had the fun of tracking this nice Michigan 8 point. Out here in Fowlerville, Michigan, it's about 8.10 and I shot an 8 point about a half hour ago. It's uh, 11th of October, I thought it was the 10th, 11th of October and um, I'm out here, I came out here to shoot a doe today. Uh, the wind was perfect, it was out of the north. That's what I need for this spot. The arrow was still stuck in him for the longest time, so he only had one hole, those kill zones, those big uh, 
expandables and make a big cut, but also takes a lot of energy to open those things up. So, so sometimes you lose your pass through, but I'm pretty sure I buried it in his opposite shoulder. So that's probably why I lost a pass through. But once the arrow falls out, I'm sure it'll pour out a lot more. Not a bad buck, guys. Not a bad buck. He's a big body. Holy cow. Nice Michigan eight point. Probably two and a half year old. I thought he might have been three, but you know what? I got so fired up when he walked in. I got it all on film. I was, I'm very proud of this dude. This is good. Yes, he's back at it again. Um, shot me this nice Michigan buck this morning about 7.30. It was uh, it's 11th of October right now. It's about 34 degrees. He came in with another smaller buck. Um, nosing around some does just prior to that. Came in, had a great shot at about 12, 13, 14 yards, something like that. Uh, I think I got it all on film pretty good. It looked good re-watching it on the camera, but well, congrats, Jared, on a great buck and a very nice job on the camera. Thanks for sharing it with all of us. Now, this next video is not HD like Jared's. In fact, it's a little shaky in spots. But all I need to know about Travis and Justin Pendry is this. Daddy, get the net. Get up. We're going to lose him. I can't, Daddy. All right. This is a keeper, right? I don't, know. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, he's just right there. Daddy. He's let's, a bigger... let's turn the boat a little and take it to that side. Okay. Woo! Reel it, pal. Reel it. You can trust me. You can trust you? Yeah. That big rod? Yeah. Give it up. Oh, he's had right towards your mobile. Well, reel, 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 reel. Reel he's fast. He's the biggest. Yeah. Get the net. Don't see him yet. You got to tire him out, pal. I gotta get the other rod. You Just still got him? Net. Don't lose him. Keep that rod tip up. Rod up, rod up. Oh, you're gonna lose him. Dad, just get the net. <laughs> Reel him. Don't give him slack. Okay. Just get oh, the net. Oh, it's a biker. I see him. There he is. I saw a strike. <laughs> Did he get away? I hope he didn't get away with our hot and tot. No, he didn't. Oh, there he is. All right, he's not too big. He's a skinny guy. Okay. Lift it up. Whoa, he is kind of big after all, isn't he? Uh huh. All right, we got him. He was a fighter. Yeah. All right. Good work. Thanks, Daddy. Teamwork. Our last viewer video is a good day of fishing on the river. All shot with a GoPro camera by Jeff Dyer. We put it to music, so enjoy a Michigan man's day on the river. From the Keweenaw down to St. Joe, Kalamazoo, East to Monroe, to St. Marie and back again, I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man, ask where I'm from and I'll show you my hands. Lord above, I love this land, I am a Michigan man. Peninsula, you can bury me on my headstone. It should read, Your lies a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man. Ask where I'm from, and I'll show you my hands. Lord above, I love this land. I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man. Ask where I'm from, and I'll show you my hands. I am, I am, I am, by God. Michigan man I am I am a Michigan man where sleeping bears lie on the sand the man or two has placed his hands I am a Michigan
Michigan man In this next story, I was scheduled to be in Cebuing, Michigan, up in the thumb for a Saginaw Bay duck hunt. I only had one day to make it happen, but that's usually not a problem with duck hunting since bad weather is actually good for duck hunting. Well, that kind of backfired on me for this next story. This was the scene on Saginaw Bay out of Seboing the evening before our scheduled duck hunt. The winds were whipping with 40 mile an hour gusts and they were forecasted to increase by morning. The guys I was here to hunt with called and said their guide was canceling the hunt the next day. Their docks were suddenly under four feet of water and conditions were too dangerous to go out. But the guys were here to hunt, so they came up with plan B. Morning guys. Morning. 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 <laughs> So Todd, what's going on? Change of plans here? Yeah, uh, wind got up too high last night. Uh, blew a bunch of water in the bay. We can't get out uh, in the bay this morning to go duck hunting, so we switched up. We're going to do some uh, uh, pheasant hunting out here at the Rooster Ranch, so All right. give it a shot. Joining Todd Motzik today were his brother Tom and his dad Tom Sr., Brandon and Jason Zansky, Ryan Kusha, and Rick and Jason Brewer. With all their gear consisting of waders, wetland camo, and steel shot, these guys hit the store last night to gear up for this last minute pheasant hunt. Their guides for today would be Gary with his short hair Ike and Randy with his two labs. So what was I was already hearing some excuses about somebody's got the wrong choke or uh, what's that going? would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I have the wrong choke. Okay, you got to do duck hunting. Choke. I have one bad eye too. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. Well, we're hunting the area called the 160. It's one of the uh, the homesteads that uh, one of the owner's sons lives, and they raise some birds here. And it has 160 acres that we can divide up into a number of different fields. Uh, if we have four hunters, we divide it up into four fields. Today, with two groups, we're going to drive it, divide it up into the bottom and the top. So we'll have a, a large area to hunt, lots of birds, great cover. Uh, we've got standing corn, we've got uh, switchgrass, we've got uh, some some milo, some cane, some uh, ponds, some woodlot, uh, just a little bit of everything that you could ever want when you're out here fe pheasant hunting. Cool. Uh, birds are going to be uh, very active. They uh, they Think like to be run. Oh, they'll be running, they'll be flying. This, this is, it's not quite sure. South Dakota, but it's as close as you can get to it. All right, now, uh, in your experience, how do duck hunters do at pheasant hunting? They do real well when we put them by the ponds. <laughs> well, these seasoned duck hunters were doing pretty good here in the pheasant fields. Nice long tails, isn't that a beautiful bird? They are pretty, aren't yep. they? And you know when the sun shines on them, the iridescence of them, they just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why they say it's a sport of kings. <laughs> and they taste good. Oh, tasty, yeah. <laughs> so who shot that one? Uh, I think Jason got that one. Too. Might have. Yeah? yeah? Nice, good shooting. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We didn't want to sit in a cabin all day. We couldn't go out waterfowling. So if we just take the money we're going to spend on the waterfowl hunt, come out here and get out in the field and do something. So then we're going to go out, back out duck hunting tomorrow. So be a good time. Nice. And the wind died down. This is crazy. Yeah, I can't believe it. There's like no wind at all here. So hopefully when we go back, maybe we'll be able to sneak out for a waterfall hunt this afternoon. <laughs> Even though it was pheasants and not ducks, these guys were enjoying the action out here. Randy's been guiding here for 20 years and says it's a great place to hunt. There are lots of different options. They have package prices. They have single bird prices. It just uh, is very uh, easy for someone who doesn't get an opportunity to hunt often <clears throat> to get out and do it. Plus the season is extended. We hunt from August 15th to April 30th. So you have just a wide range. And with the new regulations, uh, because you're hunting out of pheasant preserve, you don't need a small game license. It's all inclusive. So if this were your first opportunity to hunt, or if you wanted to introduce somebody to hunting, this is the optimum place because you're, you're gonna see birds, you're gonna get shots of birds, and we can take our time and just have fun. And that's, that's what this is all about. Every year, these guys get together for a fun weekend of duck hunting Saginaw Bay. Tom Sr. even comes in from Colorado for their annual tradition. So when the conditions turned bad on the bay, they decided to improvise and enjoy a different kind of hunt here at Rooster Ranch. That was fun. Are you having a good time out here? Absolutely. Yeah? A little different than duck hunting. What do you think so yeah, far? Yeah, but I'm with the boys, you know. And I've been doing bird hunting with my dad a lot of years, and he's passed, and it's a chance to get out and relive some good memories. Very cool. Good stuff. 
Most of these guys had never been pheasant hunting before today, but with their shooting skills honed on Saginaw Bay diver ducks, they had no problem dropping pheasants. As they made the turn to hit another section of cover, I left Randy's group of Todd, Tom, Jason, and Rick and headed over to see how Brandon, Jason, and Ryan were doing with Gary. Much like their buddies in the first field, these guys weren't letting any pheasants get by them. The crew had scoured the fields and dropped lots of birds this morning. It was creeping in on the lunch hour, so everybody headed back to the truck to regroup. Well, Todd, what did you think of all that? Oh, it's pretty interesting. First time I ever pheasant, it was really good. We shot, uh, I think, 22 out of the 25 that we had, so we did pretty well. Sweet. Yeah, that's all a good right. time. That's definitely great. Definitely fun. A little different than duck hunting, but I would definitely do this again. Cool. It seems everyone agreed with Todd. After a great day out here in the pheasant fields, this group of friends and family decided they just might add to their annual duck hunting trip and make it a two-part affair with Saginaw Bay waterfowling and rooster ranch pheasant hunting. That's really what it's all about for these guys, spending time enjoying our outdoor heritage with good friends, watching a well-trained dog do its job, taking home a few birds for the dinner table, and making lots of new memories along the way. Even if it's not quite how you planned it to be, there's always something to do here in Michigan's Out of Doors. Well, what we want to do next is something that we do every year at this time of the year, the week before the firearm deer season. We want to show you a poem that is hung in the cabin I grew up in for years and years and years. It is called Palace in the Popples. It's a smoky, raunchy boar's nest with an unswept, drafty floor, with pillow-ticking curtains and knife scars in the door. The smell of a pine knot fire from a stovepipe that's come loose mingles sweetly with the boot grease and the Copenhagen snooze. There are work-worn 3030s with scratched and battered stocks and drying lines of long johns and steaming, pungent socks. There's a table for the bloody four and their game of two-card draw. There's deep and dreamless sleeping on bunk ticks stuffed with straw. Frank's been drafted for cook again and is peeling some spuds for stew while Bruce wanders by in baggy drawers reciting dangerous Dan McGrew. Nowhere on earth is fire so warm or coffee so infernal, nor whiskers so stiff, jokes so rich, or where hope blooms so eternal. A guy could live for a solid week in the same old underbritches and walk like a man and spit where he wants and scratch himself where it itches. I tell you boys, there is no place else I'd rather be come fall where I eat like a bear and sing like a wolf and feel like I'm bull pine tall. In that raunchy cabin up in the north in the land of the deer and the loon with a tracking snow lying new to the ground at the end of the rutting moon. Thanks for joining us this week for Michigan Out of Doors. Make sure you check us out online. When you get a chance, you can do it a couple of different ways. On our Facebook page at Michigan Out of Doors TV or on our website at michiganoutofdoorstv.com. All sorts of fun things to check out at both places. Good luck to all of you hunters who are heading out for the November 15th opening day. I'll be in KPAC, Michigan over in the Thumb area and Jimmy and the guys have the rest of the state covered. Well, we are pretty excited about the opening day here of the firearm season here in the great state of Michigan. Jenny, like she said, is going to be over in the thumb. I'm going to be over in West Michigan doing a tent camp story in the Manistee National Forest. I'm really kind of excited to see that camp and to see how the hunting is over there. Gabe Van Warmer is going to be central Michigan and it really had a, a deer mecca, a great farm that uh, really produces a lot of big bucks, so we'll see what they get. Jordan Brown's going to be in the Upper Peninsula this year, uh, tagging along on a camp that's been there for well over a couple of decades. So lots of good stuff coming over the next several weeks here in Michigan Out of Doors. 
If you happen to miss something, you can always check us out online. Thanks so much for joining us this week, and hey, good luck next week in the woods, and if we don't see you in the woods or on the water, hopefully, see you right back here next week. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by, by Jay's Sporting Goods with locations in Clare and Gaylord. Jay's, serving the Michigan outdoor enthusiast since 1971 with a wide variety of outdoor products. The gear, the knowledge, the tradition of Jay's, on the web at jayssportinggoods.com. By Chappelle, providing sleds, shelters, and accessories for your time on the ice. Chappelle offers a line of pop-ups, flip-overs, and the Bay Runner, a mobile cabin with a shelf for electronics and a sliding seat on the web at chappelle.com. Buy propane, exceptional energy. Propane retailers promote the safe use of Michigan-produced gas energy in homes, farms, and businesses across our great state. Learn more at usemichiganpropane.com. Buy Meyer, a destination for hunting, fishing, and camping. From bug spray and tents to GPS and gas, Meyer has nearly everything you need to take on nature and get you there. Meyer. Closed captioning is brought to you by Propane Exceptional Energy. Propane retailers promote the safe use of Michigan-produced gas to outdoor enthusiasts across our great state.